right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22 got some good topics today, man. And y'all see, I got the headphones on. When I got the headphones on, y'all know it's hot in the booth, man. It's about to get hot. I say it's about to get Hot. We got some hot topics, man. Look, we got people talking about we got people talking about the defense. Uh, we got some random topics. We got you know Ticino coming back. We got Neon saying you know and and the most importantly, two K ain't there. We got un we got proof of all that stuff, man. If y'all don't do nothing else, make sure y'all like the video, man, because every time y'all like the video, it helps us get closer to that oh so coveted hundred K. And without further ado, let's get the video underway. Now listen to me. Before we get started, we got a guest today. That's why we got the headphones on. Y'all know y'all don't know who it is, but y'all gonna know who it is in a second. Go ahead and introduce yourself once again back for the first time, my guy. Yo, it is I, sir. Man, man, grind the fuck hard. The TikToker. <laughs> the TikToker? What, man? You ain't, you ain't no, uh, <laughs> you ain't no, on, on YouTube no more? I ain't fucking with me. I'm on TikTok. I'm a TikToker, man. <laughs> I'm on TikTok with it. All right, I feel you. I feel you. Hey, look, man, if y'all don't do nothing else, man, 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 been dropping videos like crazy in the last couple of days. They not putting them out because they. I'm just not getting no notification. Bro, I ain't getting nothing for some reason. I'm putting this link down in the description. Go over there, check it out. He also streaming on Facebook. You already started it, right? You already streaming on Facebook? Bro, I got hat. A whole nother video. Oh, dang. Okay, so don't go to the Facebook yet. But uh, yeah, all, all that right there, man. Go check it out, man. Everything that he's talking about, he's just talking about a whole bunch of truth and a whole bunch of stuff in the 2K community. And like I said, he he probably the innovator of these new videos because anytime out, the first few videos I seen was like the dope swag and the Steezo situation and stuff like that. He probably the innovator of the of the 2K news, man. We're trying to get him back to that, man. And the you know badge grinding and all that good stuff. Did you even want to talk about that yet, or you don't want to say nothing? About that part. Uh, now nah, we gonna say that. All right, all right, we gonna say that. All right, so our first yeah. time. All right, we gonna say that. Anyway, so now that y'all know who he is, let's get us uh, get to our first topic, man. Our first topic. Your boy, brother Jones, dropped an excellent video, and he's just talking about how 2K ruined the lockdown defender in this game, man. And I mean, pretty much, it literally just says. The NBA 2K22 new update ruined lockdown defenders and made play shots unstoppable after the patch. And I think that a lot of people probably do agree with that. Um, to a certain extent, I ain't gonna say all the way, uh, uh, because they are, I ain't gonna say they're unstoppable or they're not unstoppable. Because if somebody really knows what they're doing, I don't think you can stop anybody. But at the same time, it's like they it, it made it really hard and, and it almost made it. So if you made a pure lock or if you got a lock or whatever, it, it's like, why did I even do this? But uh, I don't know, man. What's your what's your thoughts on that? Are the play shots unstoppable or, or, or you know, it's just one of them things where we just got to adjust? It's, yeah, it's one of them things you got to adjust. I, I think everything was unstoppable day one. I agree. Like, I was able to shoot threes with a 65. So it's like, bro, you just don't play defense then niggas can hit shots. Right. It's just like now with the locks and, and them making the locks less limited, it just take a, just a little bit more skill on that lock now. Yeah. Now, one thing I do say is that I don't like is that it's so hard to get bumps on the game. Like, when you when you, when you you playing the lock and you're trying to bump the guy, keep him from going a certain direction, they can't just straight dribble through your body and stuff like that. I don't care about the steals and all of that good stuff as much as I care about the body ups. That's what I yeah, really want horrible. to get. What's it's that? It's horrible. The body what? up. I didn't I didn't realize it till last night. I can't get no bump animation. I just like if you get close to somebody, you might fucking around and run past them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, and, and end up behind them crab dribble. So it's right. like I don't know what they did with that. They need to fix that. It's like they took all the like the contact out the game. Right, and that's what I'm saying because I don't really care about the whole steals and stuff. Like, it, like, like we said in 2K, one of the points that he made in the video was in 2K20. If you got a good enough body up animation, the dude is just determined to run through you. He gonna pick the ball up. Now you know you can escape dribble and do all the other stuff, and you it should force you to have to do that stuff. But people just don't even do that on this game. They just dribble through you, and uh, like you standing there, both hands wide open. I'm waiting on you to come back. And they come back to you, run straight through your body. And there's nothing that you can uh, really do about that. I feel like if 2K would just increase the body up animations, then, and, and you know, the frequency of the body up animations, people will be 
a lot more satisfied on defense because like the steals and all of that stuff i feel like like on ball you can't take both away you can't take away the i, I think a lot i think the, like you said the defense was was not this great or people were unstoppable day one but the on ball steals and those unrealistic launch animations they just covered up a lot of the defensive deficiencies and the stuff like you know where you're getting the blocks in the paint and so people cried and all that stuff man and chase downs too much man too many steals and all that good stuff instead of trying to learn the game i'm cool with them taking down the steals i ain't got no problem with that but the way that they got it now where you can barely take the ball from a center that's insane so I, I just feel like if they would have give us a happy medium, give us some more body up animations, and, and now people are talking about they want them to nerf interceptions. It's like, bro, you're not gonna be able to stop nobody if they do that. But, but at, at the same time, it can't be like 2K19 where on ball steals was crazy and lane steals was crazy. So as soon as somebody get closer, you had to pass the ball and it was gonna get stolen because of that. Okay, I get that. That I get why they why they took one down, but why they took the bumps away? I just. I just don't see it. I don't see it. And they've been gone for the last two 2Ks. It was a special way you had to do them in 21, but, but you know, in this one, I, I just, I, I haven't figured it out yet. I know how to get them, but consistently, bro, who, who the heck knows, bro? But they, they like crazy. you said. I don't want to get an art to that defensive shit, bro, but it's almost yeah. like, it's not like you in a regular defensive stance to play defense, bro. It's like, exactly. you, you got to play like on they side type. It's, right. it's like almost like you got to play defense perpendicular to who you guard. Exactly. Yeah, like, that, that, that's and, what it and, is, yeah. And, that, and that's stupid, but so if they dribble to their ball hand and speed boost to the other side, then you dead. Yeah, yeah, exactly, so, right. So it's like, um, I, I don't know. You're right. I don't know why they did that, but I will say this, though. If they touch interceptors, I'm done. Yeah, they can't it, take it. It was, yeah. that, it was that in itself that made me like this game off top because it's like, oh, now if I see the pass, I can actually get it. Right. Like right. every time. Like it, um, every yeah, time. pretty much. Yeah. So it's like, and majority of the time, you see the pass every time. Yeah, you see, like, and so I did a like, video on that yesterday. I was like, yo, I'm telling you what I'm about to do. I'm going to rush him. He's going to pass the ball. I'm going to back up. I'm going to get the steal. And that's exactly what happened. So it's just like how Clutch used to be like, bro, I can't get none of these steals. Now you can get them. You can so, get them all. You can yeah. get them all, bro. I'm getting triple doubles with steals now. And and this is that this is like last night when everybody's saying that like the steals is dead. You know what I'm saying? But but still, even still with it, bro, that dumb and them bump animations gotta come back, bro. Right. Or something. It gotta be some type of contact with the offensive player. And I bro, to be honest, they might it might be in the game. Right. That, it might be in, it just might not be triggering because they making they build so damn small. Bro. That's true. That's true. And then the other thing is is like and like you said, like they they go one way, boom, cross it back over, come back the other way, and you standing there, they just skeet off your body and go. And like you said, now you got to play the hip instead of playing in front of them. So that make ISO even more deadly because if they go to the rim, you you super dead. Or like you said, if they if they fake, let's say if I'm standing on his left hip, but if he fake left and go right, I'm dead because I'm waiting on him to come back, but I can't burst out of my my defensive stance fast enough to run him down and catch back up. So. You, you got to have a lot of help defense. You got to have a lot of stuff, man. That's why I wreck. That's why we don't see a lot of issues because, we, you know what I'm saying, we play a lot of wrecks, so we can we can mitigate a lot of those issues. But, man, you playing on park with that much space, bro. Woo! Oh, and it takes, so much, it takes so much concentration in one game, bro, to stop that shit and not get flooded, bro. It definitely does. It definitely does. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. But it ain't no big deal, though. Like I said, like it's one of those things we figure it out. We figure it out every year. But it's just like, bro, you should not have to. You, and then, then we don't got Hall of Fame Intimidator. Like they just showed right there, we ain't got Hall of Fame Intimidator on most of these bills in two in uh, next gen. So without that, with that being the case, it's gonna be real hard because even though you're there with that silver, you're you're not there because they got Hall of Fame blinders, they got Hall of Fame uh, dead eye, all of that. So you're they gave it's like they giving the defensive guys um, silver and bronze badges to combat. Hall of Fame badges, like you can't even get nothing else. But you know, and then if you do, you already uh, you irrelevant because you six six, and then they're gonna use mismatch expert on you, so you dead. So it's 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 tough, man. I ain't gonna lie, they they have, whew, that defense is tough, man. But like I said, it's way tougher in the part than it is in the other stuff, in the other game modes. But you know, but the question is that we got for you is the game dead though? A lot of people trying to say it dead. I'm saying you, you saying like you, you, me and you saying it ain't dead. This, this is this is the one. You know what I'm saying? No, this really, it's really high up there. No, it can't be. It's too many. Like there's so many people that never played this shit yet. It can't be dead. Right. Like I know so many people in real time still trying to buy a, a system to play this game. Right. Now, now after everybody obtained them systems, 
and they play it and they give their opinion, then yeah, we could start that conversation then. But like, that ain't gonna be the sometime next year, bro. Exactly, and I agree. Like literally, sometime next year in the next two K, the next two K might be one that pretty might die fast, or it might be the one that's litter than new. Right. This like this tick this two K lit, and it's one of the top played two Ks already. And yeah. look how far we into the year. Yeah, like they got a graphic right here that I got on the screen right now. We got NBA two K Lab. They had posted this, and this is from this is the data from November twenty twenty to September. 2021 september 30th 2021 and this is the top 10 most played games on ps5 you know what i'm saying so this says the top 10 most played games from november the 20 2020 to september 2021 fortnite uh call of duty uh black ops cold war that was a good game so obviously that was gonna be up there fifa 21 obviously nba 2k 21 that's next gen and current gen whatever you want to call it because that's mixed together some people are playing that anyway people said 2k 21 was not was dead and look at that it was the fourth most played game on playstation uh assassin's creed destiny mlb the show 21 spider-man miles morales demon souls and then what's this what spot is this one two three four five six seven eight nine and at number 10 nba 2k 22 and just like they saying the game had only been out 20 days and it was already the most in the top 10 of the most played games on the on the uh you know on the system so if that's not telling you that it ain't dead then nothing else is now if they want to say it's dead as far as you know it's, it's going to be difficult or it ain't as lit as it was as far as youtube and stuff like that i mean they could probably say that stuff but like i try to tell people man the game ain't dead because the most played game mode is is play now and 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 them dudes that we you know what I'm talking about them dudes that we grew up with they ain't watching no youtube video they just playing play now they getting on and all of them in the house together they playing play now and and then or they playing my team and a lot of people ain't watching videos and twitch on my team or play now so like just because youtube and twitch you know what i'm saying like if, if they want to say as far as that that's one thing but the game itself obviously is far from dead we just got to figure out a way to tap into that community Woo! You, took the, you took the word right out of my mouth bro can we stop saying the game dead bro just because right. just because your favorite influencer said he don't want to play this game no more bro that's a problem we've been having since 2k15 that's true like one youtuber that majority of the community like say something then that that opinion sways everybody with everything they say like it trickled down to everybody youtube channel bro like if somebody be like yo this fucked up you see people complaining about that in the comment section that ain't that's that true game. yeah like like bro if you if i walk in the park if i load in the park right now bro and try to get on the spot nine times out of ten every court gonna see that they every court gonna say it need one or two people yeah like, bro, ain't nobody struggling to get games out here. There's so many modes you can go to on this game. Bro, this That's game another thing. Big. That's another thing, too, that people don't even realize. Like I said, there's so many modes on this game. You got play now. Obviously, that's the most played. You got my team. A lot of people playing that. You got, um, now, after that, you got the my career mode. Some people just play my career. That's all they're going to play. So that's one thing. Then you got the 1v1s, the three-on-three -three market, which, which you know, it's, it's entertaining as hell to watch you play. Then you got... Rec, Pro-Am, 3v3 Pro-Am, and then you got Park. Like, you got so many. So so just because we don't see a lot of people in the park, that doesn't mean that, that you know, people ain't playing the game. It's just like we just don't see as many people in the park anymore just because you don't see as many people in the park anymore. There's a lot more game modes to play or what have you. But you still see a lot of people in the park. Like, you ain't heard. We're not hurting for games out there. But, but you know what I'm saying? Like, people just say, I, I, I just don't get it. I, I don't get it. Like it ain't it ain't dead, but it it's it's like at the same time, like if they want to say if you want to say the content that I was putting out, you know, it's not hitting the same or something like that. Like say that, but to say the game is dead, I think I just think that's a far cry. Especially like you said, when a lot of people haven't even gotten it yet and haven't even started playing, they've yet to experience it. And even even uh, Neon said, and I, you know, I hate to quote Neon, but you know what I'm saying? Neon say NBA 2K22 isn't dead. We just aren't making it lit. We're all where all the wages. Where's all the beef? Well, we know what some of that beef is. Anonymous 2K TV. <clears throat> I mean, uh, where's all the excitement? The content creators need to come together and make and make this. Shit. 
like it was in 21 current gen or else the game is done then grinding i mean our power df says we waiting on you neon neon to make the game lit and the game might be about to be lit because you see we got tostino up here talking about wager season soon and somebody messaged him he like let's wager bro he's like i'm in the u.s just let me know and then tostino says uh sup bro i don't know i don't know if you're still down but i'll be back soon um, and I'll be happy to set it up anytime and then do it say ha 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 what's up blah 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 and he said no worries dude let me know anytime so you know what I'm saying we got it's one of them things where we can't rely on the game to just carry us no more if like that, that's just it you're gonna have to try to carry the game yourself you're gonna have to put out some content that people want to watch and that's gonna make people gravitate toward it and all that how do you do that I don't have the answer for that yet but I just feel like a large portion crazy. yeah yeah I mean, I got some of the answers, but you ain't you ain't got the answers, Sway. You ain't got the answer, but you you understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't know exactly what's gonna hit and what's not gonna hit, but I do feel like like if you're gonna make content, if you're a content creator, we don't. It's two things we don't get to decide. We don't get to decide what's popular, and then we don't get to decide decide that what we are doing is is what's popular. You understand what I'm saying? So it, that's that's two sides of the same coin. It's just like I never would have thought that I hit. The numbers that I'm hitting on TikTok by making T-shirts, you never would have thought that you was gonna hit the number that you was gonna hit by TikTok by just making it wasn't even a it wasn't a joke video, but it was just a matter of fact. Yo, y'all y'all thought these weren't even out here, but they out here though. You know what I'm saying? Like you never would have thought that, but like we don't get to decide what's popular. We just gotta figure it out and ride those waves, like uh you know like a lot of people, like a lot of people do. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, Ooh, go ahead. I like it. Look, like strategically like po in post and shit we be knowing what's supposed to go right it's just out of our control on what go right ain't no limit on tiktok like you know what i'm saying like they're not blocking shit if it's supposed to go and it's something that's gonna cause a conversation like it's yeah gonna cause, it's gonna do just that yeah they're gonna on let YouTube, it run on youtube they won't even push the shit so mm. like all the answers I see what you're everybody saying, yeah. questions and all of that shit like it's on there that like nobody just, just don't see it right but the ones that we you know that got influence that there's like is able to like push the curve and say what's cool and what's not they just don't talk about the shit that they should be talking about gotcha so okay so it's like so it's, it's like it's like what i said if the influence say it's dead then it's dead right okay okay i to, got you you know to the ones that like we trying to appease to right but if they say it's lit, then it's lit. Right. So it's, it's almost like we work, we got to kind of like get in a little shadow until we seen. And then once we seen and really got, you know, I ain't gonna say too much, but it's like, yeah, the answer's out there. Yeah, the answer's they out there. Don't, they just don't want to hear them from who's saying them right now. Yeah. It's only temporary though. It's like, like I'll give you an example, cause just like us posting those videos or whatever, right? I became a major influencer with the company that I bought the printer from or whatever. Man, I had an issue with my printer. They just, they sent me the part for, like I, I bought the part the first time and I still had an issue with it. And I'm like, yo, like the first time I wasn't a big influencer, right? But then now, now I am a big influencer. Like we was we was under three or 4,000 or something like that the first time. Now we over, we over 15, 20 and we getting big views and they, and you know what I'm saying? They be liking our videos and all that. So now, when I was like, yo, this part still ain't working. I did this and I thought it worked and it still, you know, didn't resolve the issue. They was like, don't worry about it. We gonna, we gonna overnight this joint to you and I'll get it today. And there's like, and if you wanna drive up here and take our printer from us, you can do that. You can just come get it and we'll swap the printers out or whatever, like whatever we need to do to make y'all happy. Yeah. And like, so you're saying like, once you become an influencer, a major influencer in the market, you're right. They, they are gonna bend over backwards for you. But right now, you know, when you're not a major player, yeah, you're right. Your influence ain't gonna go, ain't gonna go, but so far. And that's why the game how it is. Because the ones with the influence <laughs> they just need to be changed. And they yeah. got four or five thousand people in the comment section saying the same shit. Like, yeah, if business. I'm looking at this shit, and if it's my business, like, okay, there's enough people that might to change some shit. Okay, we might need to pay attention to that. Yeah. Versus. And a nigga that's like, yo, I just posted this shit and I said it, it was broke, but everybody in the comment section saying he complained before we ain't got to worry about that right now. Exactly. That's true. So if the that's influencers got together and say, hey, man, look, the game, instead of so, I, I see what you're saying. So instead of saying the game just dead, if we say the game is suffering and this is the reason that it is suffering right here, 
then we could probably get, and we got enough people saying that, then we could probably get some change. Like, like even with the rebirth, like a lot of people are like, you know, I, I, we hate grinding these bills. We like the game. We don't like grinding the bills, blah, 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 all this and that. And boom, look, they just patched rebirth into the game. I don't even know if they had a plan on doing that, but they saw an opportunity that people were getting, they done changed the game so much and they know that people would have made different bills. Well, I would make a bill to, you know, to do this or that, but I don't feel like grinding that dude no more. And it's like they patched, re it's like they literally patched rebirth into the game in the middle of it so that people could, you know what I'm saying? So you'd be like, oh, okay, well shoot, I'll make another bill now. I'll go ahead and drop that dub on him or drop that 50 on him now because I ain't got to spend all that time with it. So it really it really feels like they saw that opportunity there and they just said, hey, uh, we changed the game enough. Now people want to make new bills, but they're not making them because they don't want to grind them. So now we'll drop this rebirth and now people making more bills than ever. I see some people had one bill before rebirth. Now they got 10, 10 bills. The bills is maxed out. Four See, I ain't matching, but I got four. That's what and I'm saying. Thing, like you just said, they might have patched it during the game. Mm -hmm. How can this game be dead if they able to just go right in and just throw something that we want right. in this bitch? Right. So if they see the need for it, it's like they gonna do it. But if they, if they, and enough people talking about it, I just think that that's something that they saw from the data because I don't think enough people were talking about that. But enough people definitely was talking about the steals and all of that stuff, and and they patched that instantly. So. Like I said, man, like like you said, if the right people get behind the stuff the right way and influence all the stuff, then, you know, it might be there. And another reason I would say that, um, that, that you know, the, the game, like, let's say if we just talking about Twitch rise, the major content creators don't even stream. So, you know, they're not streamers. The major content creators that get the most views, they, they don't stream nothing. They just, you know, they just do YouTube and mo the, for the most part, that's all. If those guys were to get on Twitch and stuff, man, it's the, it'll be just like it was when Fredo was on there. Like and cash was on that. That's why because the major content creators were streaming back then. It's not like that anymore. So that's that's the only reason. The game's still good. The game's still lit, but it's just it's just that the the major major people don't stream no more. That's it. I mean, at least as twi as far as Twitch goes or whatever. Because back then, who all we had? We had well, shoot, it really was just Fredo and Cash at that point in time. No, we had Los Pollos and Amber, all them dudes that you know hung in that group or whatever. And that was another thing that you was talking about: is it better to be in a group or better to rock by yourself, man? And I, I mean, it's one of them where it's half a dozen in one hand, six in the other. It's like it's it's hard to tell, man. It's one of those where we, I don't know what's your thoughts on that one. I'm all for collabs and affiliations, but build your own personal brand. Damn that cool shit. There you go. I, I agree with that. Like I said, man, you've been, been collabing and, and affiliating since what, 2015, 16, whatever, since, since you, you was like, hey, anybody know how to stream? I was like, I got you. I got you, my boy. And yeah. hey, ever since then, shoot, I was like, I'm a guru on that. I know what to do. So, you know, but at the same time, so, you know, obviously anytime you like, shoot, when we went to, when we on the same 2K, when one of us on, the other one on, but everybody know we our own people too. So, yeah. Collab. I just feel like there's it, more chances for shit to go wrong when it's a crew or a clan or a team and all of that shit versus when it's just you building your own brain by yourself. Right. Because if we all in it doing the same thing, trying to get to the same goal, we're like, like at some point, bro, that ego, like, yo, I'm, I'm, somebody gonna start feeling themselves. Yeah. And it's not, that's not a bad thing, bro. Right. You feel me? But nine times out of ten in a crew situation, it ain't never a situation where everybody go in cloudless. Exactly. Somebody, somebody, somebody got the clout in that shit. That's true. See, so they, it's like they already that they already that guy. So right. whoever else come in under that is like, bro, you in that shadow until you prove that like I'm I'm better than this. Right. But I mean, hey, if you get bigger than a master, then what? You think they just gonna let that rock? Yeah. I mean, it's one of them quotes that I said. I put it on Twitter the other day, man. It's amazing what people can accomplish if we don't care who get the credit and like. You would have to have a crew of people like that where nobody care who get the credit and everybody just pushing forward. That's how you would have, that's so hard to find because everybody want to be be that guy. Me, I really don't care who get the credit as long as, hey, look, we, if we if we, if we go in here and we all get there, yeah, you might get there a little bit nicer, but we gonna get there. Like you might be in a Bentley, but shoot, I might be in a BMW, shoot. It's still better than the, it's still better than that 72 Malibu Classic that I started out driving, so. You know, but hey, some might some might think that 72 Malibu Classic is the one though. Hey, and if you do, that's cool too. 
But it's better than, you know what I'm saying? That was the first car that I had. It, it didn't have no flow in it. I really be in that Bentley, though. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie with you. Yeah, you ain't got it. Anyway, man, like I said, man, but that's, that's, that's a good, valid point, man. We got to make sure we get you on here at least once a week, man, because the people love, they love Man Man Grind Hard. If y'all want more Man Man Grind Hard, then y'all can stand. Pause. Go to his channel. The link is down in the description. Dude, like I said, one of the most genuine dudes in the 2K community. He just want to play the game, man. Like, like a dude said, man, like, bro, I just want to hoop. I don't like the politics, all this other stuff. I just want to hoop, man. And like I said, I'm trying to get this PlayStation today so, so we can be on the same page and we can be out here hooping and y'all can see, you know what I'm saying, the reunion and Brazzy can throw our shit and, and Ghana can throw our shit too, man. You know what I'm talking about? Them my guys, but you know, like, it is what it is. But, you know, that's what we're trying to get to, man. We're trying to get back to that. If y'all want to see that, let me know down in the comment section, man. But, hey, I'm let you take them out, man. Tell, tell them who you is, man, and, and, and any of your social medias and all that good stuff. All right, look, shout out, shout out my dog, Jay Easy, for putting me on the platform, allowed me to be heard this morning, you feel me? Because, hey, regardless how much work you put in in the 2K community, bro, sometimes it just, it just probably never gonna feel like, you know what I'm saying, you getting it back. So I appreciate you putting me on the platform. Yeah. Um, bro, y'all ain't gotta follow me on that. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I'm Man Man Grand Heart, that's all I got for you. Yeah, if you if you put in Man Man Grind Hard on anything, you gonna find it, man. I promise you that. Twitch, Twitter, uh, Instagram, doggone TikTok, all that. Just Man Man Grind Hard. Everything Man Man Grind Hard, man. You know what I'm talking about? In some cases, uh, I think Twitter is uh is uh tweeting. Uh, but you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying, too. But all that yeah, gonna be I, down. I, I went marketable, you know. What <laughs> Are you marketable now? Bit, you know? Okay, I okay. Did, no, I didn't get drafted, so, you know, <laughs> I, I should have been famous for your name. Oh man, we got it though. But yeah, I'm, um, all the socials be down in the comment section, man. We gonna holler at y'all next time. Appreciate y'all coming through. Make sure y'all like the video, man. If y'all don't like the video, nobody gonna see it, and all and the voices ain't gonna get heard, and all of that good stuff, man. Even if y'all don't like me, you know what I'm talking about. Like the video, man. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time, it's the man that put Man Man Grind Hard on the Starlito and Don Trip. J Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, baby.